Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at BJGeekNation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief, but choosing the right chapter is crucial. In a free consultation, we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Oh, yeah. It was, a, it was, it was some weather. Some weather. It was hot. And uh, if you were wearing your shorts, well, you needed something on your feet. Uh, well, if you don't have the VJ Migs Rock Socks, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? You're really not living life. You're not living life. Yeah. If you're going to be naked in the woods in Oregon, you should still have something on your feet. Well, that's what, hey, listen, I had I had to get to the, 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 the soaking tubs. Oh, so you did like a Red Hot Chili Peppers thing? Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice. I put the Rock Socks right where you, I mean, hey, my clothes, that was the optional clothing I decided to put on. So, like, yeah. So maybe you can put these anywhere you want on your body. They really work well on your feet. But if you are at a clothing optional place, put them, you know, yeah. Anthony Kita style. That's all I'm saying. Wow. Get the BJ Migs Rock Socks now. KISW.com. Let's play B Migs. It's time to play the game. Yeah. So everybody scream his name. B Migs. Don't be a Oh, yeah. Yeah, get some tacos. Might I suggest some pulled pork tacos? <laughs> I sure you want to talk about that after we talk about me going to oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. You made it weird. I was yeah. just trying to uh, segue yeah. into me making pulled pork for my father in law, but yeah, that's a little weird. <laughs> Wonderful. So you just found a way to have a humble brag about you cooking pulled pork. Hell exactly. Yeah. That's nice. exactly what he did. Boy. Yeah. And he yeah. brought it in for us. Yeah, it brought some little. in for everyone. It's only a little bit, but... Oh, oh, now you're complaining about it. There's not enough. All right, Vicky, no, you don't get any. I already got some. Damn it. <laughs> and it was delicious. I'm saying your food was delicious. We need more of it. Bring it every day. Oh, no, that's... Oh, really, he yeah. didn't bring that much for everybody? There's enough for everyone. Uh, what a humble Oh, brag. my gosh. Man, well, people believe. complaining about it. I better hurry and get my hands on some of that pulled pork. Yeah, yeah, yeah get it's on my meat. Oh. Oh. Let's get to our contestant today. We've got Spencer in Mount Lake Terrace to take on Steve. Spencer, are you there? I am. Morning, guys. Good, Good morning. morning. What's he playing for today, Steve? Take to check out Kate Sport MMA. That's happening at the Emerald Queen Casino on August 10th. Go to KISW.com for all the details. If you want tickets, they're available now at Ticketmaster.com. All right, Steve, get out of here. For those playing at home, Spencer will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Spencer, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Let's do it. Which Texas NFL team won three Super Bowls in the 90s? Uh, the Texas Titans? No. Uh, pass. La Bamba was a 1987 biopic about which famous singer? Um... Pass. What does the S stand for in NASCAR? Um, super sport? No. Uh, pass. What kind of animal is Timon in Disney's The Lion King? Oh, he's a, he's a pig, right? No. Four? No. Uh, oh, he's a meerkat, right? Yes. The space station Mir was built by which nation? Uh, China. No. Russia. Yes. Which word starting with M is a cosmetic for eyelashes? Mascara. Yes. Which East Coast city was the first to have a public school system? Uh, uh. What actor played Dr. Stanley Goodspeed in the 90s movie The Rock? Oh, The Rock. Uh, uh. Oh, well, Spencer got three correct. All right, he didn't drop a deuce. He did not. Uh, which is a great. Yeah. Take on that, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Well, I mean, Spencer, you—he's yeah. not for hire. Yeah. 
Wow. There's a relationship that's, what, 35 years old? You got it, buddy. Goodness gracious. I bring up all the current relationships. <laughs> I don't even think Steve heard that. Steve, did you hear that? No, great joke? what I miss? Oh, because it was Spencer is playing, yeah, and then yeah. he didn't do great. And BJ said, "Well, Spencer's not for hire." Huh? I love that show. Yeah. See, I knew somebody <laughs> would appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got two people in the room that appreciate that. Yeah. Steve, are you ready? Oh yeah. Which Texas NFL team won three Super Bowls in the nineties? The Dallas Cowboys. Yes. La Bamba was a 1987 <laughs> biopic <laughs> about which famous <laughs> singer? <laughs> Um, <laughs> crap. Uh, Richie Valens. Yes. Nice. What does the S stand for in NASCAR? Speed. No. Stuff. No. Stuff. <laughs> Sport. No. Stuff. What kind of animal is Timon in Disney's The Lion King? A lion? The Lion King. No. A tiger. No. A bear. Oh, my. Oh, my. No. <laughs> the Russian space station mirror was built by which nation? Russia? Yes. Which word starting with M is a cosmetic for eyela- cosmetic for eyelashes? Mas- mascara. Yes. Which East Coast city was the first to have a public school system? New York. No. Um, Massachusetts. Boston. Yes. What actor played Dr. Stanley Goodspeed in the 90s movie The Rock? Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> no. Kevin Costner. No. Bruce Willis. No. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five. You win five to three. Yes. Yeah. It's a bit closer than I thought it would be, actually. Yeah. yeah. Spencer really not being able to identify the Dallas Cowboys. Like yeah. The Texas football team. Yeah, he said Texas Titans yeah. and then just passed. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Dallas Spencer. Cowboys is like the one that I thought everyone would guess. Yeah, because like, I mean, right away. But I, maybe they forget Dallas is in Texas. I yeah. Think. Were you trying to F with me by asking me a question about a Russian thing and where it was made? No. Why? Well, the Russian space station Mir, where was it made? Did I say the Russian space yes, station Mir? Yeah, he did. He, oh, he wasn't supposed to. I didn't. I didn't even realize that. No, he 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 he, oh. he gave you a freebie. <laughs> I was like, is this some kind of trick question? Yeah, so I was like, I, Russia? I, yeah, yeah, didn't he, even realize. I, I didn't said say that. anything. But yeah, if if, if it was if it would have been yeah, if, if it, it was four to three, I would have had to give it back to the guy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, he messed up. I see that messed with me for the rest of the game because I'm like, what the hell kind of question was that? That was he a, gave me the answer. I was wondering why you were pausing there. I didn't even yeah. hear myself say Russian. Yeah. So the Russian space station mirror, where was it made? <laughs> Someone just texted. Did anyone else hear the rev ask Steve? The Russian space station mirror was built by which nation? <laughs> yeah. I don't uh, even. That's wow. good. Right there, buddy. That was fantastic. You're a professional. Rev, way to give away the answer. The Russian space station. Yeah. Well, I mean, sure, yeah. Yeah. Uh, does anybody know who played Dan, uh, Dr. Stanley Goodspeed in The Rock? Was it Sean Connery? No. It was his co-star. Oh, I don't know who the hell else was in it. Patrick Warburton. No, Nicolas Cage. Oh. Oh, Nick. that's right. He was in The Rock. Yes, he was. Oh, yeah. Uh, you didn't know that Timon was a meerkat. Yes, uh, Spencer Steve. knew that one. And neither of you knew what the S stands for in NASCAR. Stock. Yes, because it's stock. the oh. stock car. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. But stuff oh. was a really good answer there, Steve. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, maybe you should have put the name of the answer yeah. in the question. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> The Man. stock cars. What's the S stand for? I thought NASCAR I was doing so good, too. You did really good. Like one texture says, all integrity ruined. Yeah. Sorry. Done. There was integrity? Yeah. 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 Well, congratulations, Steve. You won with five correct. Take your pulled pork and get out. <laughs> Call on number five. Guess what you're getting? You're getting yourself to, uh, tickets to see K-Sport MMA at Emerald Queen Casino on August 10th. Call on number five, 206-421-ROCK. There's a woman in Florida. She recently went to the grand opening of a hot dog stand called Willie Yums. And since they had no social media presence, she offered to do it for them, but they didn't have the money to pay her, so she'd been working for hot dogs instead. (laughs) I love this woman. What a great idea. Here she is talking about it. I was just scrolling through looking for things to do in the area, and it was, you know, grand opening, hot dog place, and I was like, I am there. I work in social media, and so my mind just goes to, let's post about this on social. And then I couldn't tag him because he didn't have an Instagram, he didn't have a Twitter. Maybe I can help him out with this. So I talked to him that very first day about it, and... uh, uh, he said he would love the help, um, but because they were brand new, he couldn't afford to pay me money, but offered to pay me in hot dogs. And I was like, sold. I love hot dogs. Like, a lot. <laughs> I love this woman. Like, She's a lot. She is fantastic. She'd be a good wrestler, because that's always the joke with wrestlers. They get paid in hot dogs. So. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm looking at the Williams Facebook, uh, Twitter handle, and it's great. There it is. Would, is there a, a place that you would work for free just to get the free product? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mod pizza. Mod. Oh. The no-name cakes. The no-name cakes. Yeah. Man. Mm-hmm. 
Yep, I would. I would. I would do their social media for free. That's yep. a good call. Yeah. Oh, so good. I just thought it was funny because when we went to go get sushi, that's all BJ was thinking about the entire time we were eating. Because we walked by a mod pizza that was near Trappers. We walked right by. We did all you can eat sushi for lunch. Yeah. yeah. So that we could eat all the sushi that we wanted. Right. BJ had two rolls. Yeah. Top wow. and stopped eating. And the reason being was that he wanted to save room for his no-name cakes. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. And you had one and a half no-name cakes or two. Yeah, I, I had, well, th- then then Vicky went out and bought uh, cow chip cookies, and so I had some of those. So you're all about the desserts, yeah. man. Yeah. And I, I know, and I really shouldn't have done the all-you-can-eat buffet. For the for the because I did not take advantage no, of it. No, you didn't at all. You no. actually lost money in that I, situation. I, I did lose money. <laughs> just had a regular lunch. Yeah, yeah. I really thought I was, and then no, you didn't get your money's worth. As I don't worry, by, Danny and I did did enough to make it worth it. Yeah, you guys sure did. did. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was re- I was ready to, and then as we were walking to the sushi place. There it is, Mod Pizza. I go, well, how do I not get no-name cakes? Yeah. And then Vicky, she walked by the cow chip cookie, said, how do I not get cow chip cookies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vicky and I both have dessert issues. Where would you work for free to oh, get free product? It's going to make me sound really, really, really emo, but I want to work at Hot Topic. I always thought it'd be fun to work oh, at Hot Topic. Oh, the free fun pop, wow. the Funko Pops. Yeah, the Funko and Pops. the wrestling the, t-shirts. Yeah, the band shirts. I'm oh, in. Danny, look at Danny had your life. Yeah. I know. For a year and a half. He got paid. Yeah. Worst job I ever had, too. So, <laughs> <laughs> If I'm going to get paid minimum wage, though, I better get some free stuff. Otherwise, I'd rather just be a waitress because you get paid in tips, too. And food. You don't get free stuff from Hot Topic. Yeah. Oh, to so, yeah. yeah. That's a bummer. I think I do social media for um, Welch's fruit snacks. I spent a lot of money really? on those. <laughs> Even with the ones my dad gets you. Yeah. Wow, I mean, not. people at the gas station by my house just know every time. And they even, they even like, give me a hard time about it. Like, you know you could go to Costco and get these, like, bulk. That's how <laughs> yeah. my dad gets them. And I'm like, I know, but I just, I never think I need them until I come into the gas station. There they are. Wow. Wow. Uh, Rev? Yeah. Wow. Uh, I would have to say maybe a local butcher shop, maybe like Blue Max, because uh, yeah. just getting that meat, man. You're all about getting the Traeger. I am. Seriously. Oh, yeah. like it's, a Traeger-holic. It's so much fun to cook stuff on it. I don't use my oven anymore. Damn. Yeah, I love it. Danny? My pizza, but for the pizza, not okay. the no-name cakes. <laughs> oh, you guys can double up. Yeah, we need yeah, we'll, 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 You know what? One of us only has to work because they'll probably give us pizza and the no-name. All right. And then we can pay each other off. Yeah. I got someone says, aren't no-name cakes just ding-dongs? Yeah, I mean, they are. On paper, yes, but you haven't had them if you think that. Exactly. I just recently had a ding-dong, too, because I couldn't get a I couldn't well, yeah, get you went to the woods and you got naked with a bunch of people. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> and look, nothing against ding-dongs. I mean, it's, it's a fine substitute, but it's not a no-name. Right. Yeah. That's like saying like a microwavable pizza is on the same level as like a pizza that you get in like a wood-fired oven. Yeah. That's the first thing I did, though, is I, I went right to a store after being, because this was a vegetarian retreat, uh-huh. so there was no meat, no sweets. It was just all healthy food. First thing I did was I drove to a gas station after the, after the few days that I was there and said, I will get a ding-dong, please, <laughs> only because there was no mod pizza to drive to in Oregon where I was. Otherwise, that's, that's the first thing I would have done. Oh, so good. You know, one in three adults, they are still doing something odd that they have done since they were kids. And I think Vicky's guilty of it. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. What is it? I'm going to tell you at 717 on The Rock. BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. According to a new survey, one out of three adults say that they still sleep with a comfort object from their childhood. That's what we're calling it now, comfort objects. I, and that one of, uh, if we we're going to do one on our show, I'd say it'd be Vicky. Mm, oh, incorrect. yeah. Well, you fly with that thing. Yeah, but that's not from childhood. That's I bought that as an adult. <laughs> it oh. looks like something you get as a kid. Right? Technicality. Oh. I thought Damn you it. had that since you were a kid. No, no. I bought the, the Stitch Pillow when I went to France. Oh, from Lilo and Stitch yeah, the movie. Exactly. I went to uh, the, 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 the Disneyland in Paris. And I wanted a pillow, and so I got that. And it looks beat up, Steve. It does look like she's had it for a long oh, time. Oh, I sleep with it every night. Bro, I thought for sure that was something that she's yeah. had since maybe 
early teens at least. I'm sorry, yeah, you, I was 24. See, you, yeah, you don't know. Lilo what? and Stitch wasn't around that long for her to have it as a little well, kid. No, what the hell do I know? 2003. I was like a preteen, teenager. Yeah, like exactly. Now. But you know, that's the kind of the thing you have is what <laughs> like a little toddler gets. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't. I do have a lot of stuff from childhood, like my baby blankets. And that, that's my, on the list. My mom made a couple of them. My, a couple stuffed animals she made. How I about still special have pillows, stuffed animals? They're on this list. Yeah. Uh, pillow, no, but stuffed animals, yes. And so blanket and stuffed animal you still have from your childhood, but you don't sleep with it. No. Hmm. Just your what about your daughter? Does it, didn't she have like a bunch of a thing? Yeah, she's got the thumbs up. Yeah, she does. Okay. Yeah. So Danny? The, uh, I do, actually. I have a... Uh, wow. But I don't sleep with it anymore. I sleep next to it. It's in like a airtight thing that my... It's a teddy bear that my grandma gave me. But I like airtight... Container? Plastic wrapped it so that way it won't uh, ever like ruin. So you suffocated your teddy bear. Yeah, That's poor nice. thing. It's yeah. dead now. Jeez. It's very serious. Well, I just don't want it. I don't want the, the bugs to get to it. What bu- what kind of house do you live in? Do you live outside? <laughs> <laughs> what bugs are going to get to it? I think bugs are all over the place. Okay. Right? Wow. Damn. So it's like your bubble boy. Pretty much, yeah. And so you get it wrapped up and you sleep, but you do sleep next to it. It's, it sleeps on my uh, dresser. Yeah. Oh. It's called Teddy. I'm yeah, I don't. I don't have. I don't have anything like that. <laughs> Definitely no stuffed animal. No. Yeah, I don't have a blanket. I don't. I mean, really? I, yeah, I've got, I don't have a blanket or a stuffed animal from my childhood. I don't have anything at all from mm-hmm. like my little kid childhood. I yeah, I still have the Mickey Mouse that was given to me when I was born. It's in a bin up in the uh, in the attic, but it's still up there. Do you have it vacuum sealed like Danny? No, no, yeah. nothing that strange. What about the bugs? Oh, I guess the bugs will get them. It's, there's no bugs. <laughs> there are bugs. I see yeah. bugs every day. Well, my mom close had, your windows, maybe. Yeah, right. Or it'll stop doing the drugs, man. I don't, know, I, don't, I don't know if my mom wasn't sentimental, or maybe because she passed away when I was fourteen. My dad didn't save anything. He always threw my stuff out. That's what. So I mean, it was just like, yeah. you know, even my comic books, which were valuable. He's like, you don't need any of this. Get it rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it all. And it's like, oh, so I've got I, I've got nothing, nothing at all from my childhood, or anything that would be a comfort object. Now, it's the lukewarm topic of the day. So even though I don't have anything, one in three adults do actually have these comfort objects, and they still sleep with their, like, childhood teddy bear or their blanket. So based on this, here's what we want to know. What is something from your childhood that you refuse to get rid of? 206 421 Rock, text us at 77999. What is something from your childhood that you refuse to get rid of? BJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock, 99.9 KISW. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. One in three adults still sleep with their childhood teddy bear or blanket. So based on this, we want to know, what is something from your childhood that you refuse to get rid of? 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. Taylor in Everett, you are on the rock. Hello, Taylor. Are you there? Hello. Yes. Oh, there she is. Hi, Taylor. Welcome to the show. What you got for us? Hey, good morning. Um, So I am 24 years old. I am moving to a whole new state for the first time in my life. My mother called me the other day and told me that she has something for me at her house. And it is my Barbies from when I was, like, a baby. And she refuses to get rid of them and is making me keep them with me. That is so funny. Uh, now, you don't you don't want these, but she doesn't want to get rid of them. Absolutely not. I told her to give them to my little brother's little girlfriends, and she refuses. She won't give them to the Goodwill. She says, you need these Barbies. You might play with them another day. Oh, man. Isn't it funny how parents are? It really is yeah. so bizarre. Like, I don't know about your parents, but my parents save everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, it's ridiculous. We stole my stroller from 30 years ago. It's like, what if you want to use it for when you have kids? I'm like, that thing is gross. I'm not using it. Dad, yeah. throw it out. <laughs> and they don't understand. There's nothing from your child days that will be reusable because technology always improves. There's nothing that you're ever going to need. And there's expiration dates on all kids stuff now. But I think a lot of times they keep them maybe just as a sense that it's like a, it's something for them to remember your childhood. They, they, they say that's the reason. They just don't want to admit to the fact that maybe it's just like something that just keeps them feeling young because it's like a reminder of you when you were a kid. But you would think it would, they I find think a, that's what my parents are like. Right. But why would they keep it in the garage where all the bugs are? 
That's well, hopefully they have a vacuum mean. sealed. Yeah, see, yeah. Vicky, there are bugs. There are it bugs. spiders. Garage. I don't want to touch it. Protect Danny's teddy bear. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a box uh, that we put, put together, uh, we, you know, that has a, a newspaper from the day that Sarah and Joe were born, and a couple of other things, maybe like a blanket or something, and a little, maybe like a little rattle or something. And, and, and I've got it up in a closet somewhere that I figure the kids someday will come across or will give to them, and then it's up to them. They can throw it out or they can go, this is kind of cool. This is me. Have you seen it, Sarah? I haven't, no. I kind of want to read the paper if you, we still can on the day I was born. That is actually kind of cool. Well, hopefully the bugs haven't got to it. I don't know. <laughs> Probably yeah, I did. I didn't wrap it. Oh, the bugs got to it. Do you like paper? Yeah. Oh. Have you not learned anything from Danny? I know. I, if I'd only met <laughs> Danny before I, I kept this keepsake box. I'll have to find it, Sarah. I, I know it's somewhere in the house, and if I do, I'll let you check it out. It's yeah. your. I mean, it's, it's for you. Yeah, I know. We have a lot of those uh, pictures, the photo albums. Yeah. But then you kind of stopped when I was about like... What six years old? So I only have pictures till I was six. There are That's more. When he stopped caring. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, that, actually, I don't think he ever cared. I think my mom kind of did it. Let's yeah. get real. I took the pictures. It's just that we stopped putting them in the albums. There's a whole bunch of pictures just in the p- containers back in the you know that you used to get from the drugstore, mm-hmm. and I just never took them out. So there's still more. It's just that somewhere we, in a we, box. We stopped when you were six. We were like, I don't want to put them in an album anymore. I'm done. Two zero six four two one Rock Texas at seven seven nine nine nine. Jeremy at the Gorge. You are. On the rock, liquor horse. Yeah, that's right, buddy. <laughs> All right, how about you, Morning, guys? How's it going? Not too bad, buddy. What's something from your childhood that you refuse to get rid of? Uh, aside from my stretch Armstrong, uh, the one thing I do have is my baby blanket, which actually I had my mother refurbish so that my year and a half old daughter can use it, which is now her baby blanket. That's actually, awesome. That is very, very cool. That is, I mean, that's like something that, you know, if you refurbish it, let's say an heirloom you can keep handing down. Exactly. Well, what might I recommend when she's too old to use it to put it in a bag and seal it? That way the bugs don't get yeah, it. Yeah, you don't want the bugs to get it. No, in. we can't have the bugs getting it. You can't use this bugs. This is not your baby blanket, okay? So none of your little baby bugs are going to get this. That's awesome. I still have a Popeye uh, shirt that was I wore. Popeye! Popeye! Popeye. Yeah. It's this baby blue with his face on it. And I mean, I think I keep it because I wish I could still wear it because it's such a sick shirt. I wish you could still wear it. I can't even try and squeeze into it. Like, it won't even wrap around, get over my head. <laughs> oh, and you still have it. I've kept it. And I even when I moved from New York to Seattle, I, I made it a point to bring it with me. I'm like, one day if I ever have a kid, that kid is wearing that damn shirt at some point. Just so I can see some, another human being wear it again. Because it's yeah. such an awesome shirt. And it's still in great shape. The, the, the oldest thing that I have, it, somebody actually went and found. So it wasn't mine. It wasn't the original that I had. But I could, but, 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 uh, and, oh, well, yeah, an old buddy used to work on the show, Top Shelf. He got me a, a baseball cup. Mm-hmm. with Reggie Smith who was an old center fielder for the Red Sox and it was from like a drugstore or something way back in the day and I couldn't believe he found it on eBay I used to have that cup and have it in my room and of course it, it, it was gone and here it was 40 some odd years later you know Toppy's like hey here's this cup and yeah. I'm like no way! Like so, so I have it. It's not my original. Maybe but it is. You just don't know. This thing is fifty-two years old. Because I mean, I, I because I know it was like you know back from nineteen sixty-seven, sixty-eight is when this is when he was playing for the team. Well, if you ever want to get rid of it, just let me borrow it. My wife finds very creative ways to break my glass cup, so he can just, I'll, I'll have no problem getting that taken. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's the only, it's the <laughs> oldest thing I have, and it's I mean, it wasn't it wasn't originally mine, but it, I, you know, I would. Would have kept it if I could. So it was yeah. so cool to have it. You know, I had, and I think of all the little stuff that I had because I love baseball growing up, and so all that stuff you had, the cards, the little posters you put on the wall. Oh man, it was so awesome. This guy says I snuck out of boot camp back in '87 to see the band U2 in San Diego. It was the Joshua Tree tour. I still have the poster unopened in my closet. Wow. I just want to still sleep with the stuffed dog that my grandma gave me in the hospital when I was born. It's not vacuum sealed or plastic wrap because that's just effing weird. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Mr. Wuffles. Oh, he's got a name. Oh. Does your teddy bear have a name, Danny? Yeah, Teddy. Oh, Teddy? Yeah. No, his Boring. name is dead because you wow. put him in a bag. No, yeah. he's not dead. Yeah. He is still alive because the bugs didn't get to him. Yeah. You guys got to vacuum sell all your stuff. Yeah. All right, we think Danny's weird. This might be the weirdest text. I have a friend that saved his very first pubic hair. Oh. It's in a little photo album that he keeps on his coffee table. He won't get rid of it. 12 years now, the sick effer. So it's everybody when they come over. I don't even know why he's still my friend. Yeah, I mean... What? 
I mean, my mom kept like my first haircut, hair clippings, but that's not different. a. That's yeah. very, very I different. Mean, yeah, not even in the same world. No. I mean, everybody thinks little baby hair is cute on the right. top of your head, but like little, that, that no, little he's curly got- cue. So we all agree that pubic hair is not cute. No, no. yeah, we, yeah, yeah. So we, we I agree. With, yeah. I'm glad I'm not alone in that. Is yeah. he married or in a relationship? Because I want to meet that woman. Yeah, it, it's going to take a special How person. soon in the relationship do you show that photo album yeah. to us? Yeah, right. never. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's, you know, I, I mean, okay. He seems proud of it, though, so I feel like it would be on the first date. You're probably right. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the way he weeds out women. Yeah. 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 You're right. If they stay <laughs> yeah, with, they, uh, during they, that, he's yeah. like, oh, she's cuter. Wow. <laughs> Damn. So it says, I still have a voucher for one free small fry from Burger King that I won in a raffle in kindergarten. Someday I'm going to redeem it. That'd be funny if you could. Oh, I, well, you know, I mean, if I'm at Burger King and somebody brings in an old school coupon like that, you're going to redeem that. Come yeah, well, on, you've got to. It's a small thing of fries. You have to. Yeah. I mean, why even deal with the argument? Yeah. Because, sir, it's been expired for <laughs> I'd pay 19 for the fries. years. <laughs> I'd pay for the fries myself just to put it up on the wall or something like that at the Burger King. Go, look, here's one of our coupons from back. We got a popular TV show host that actually just shared a great story of her daughter walking in on her and her husband getting it on. Yeah. You're going to hear this story at 747 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How much does bankruptcy cost? Usually with my office, we we do a flat fee that includes all your court costs, filing fees, credit counseling, credit reports, and one cost in Chapter 13 cases. That usually starts at about $900 uh, with Chapter 7 cases. So total costs, including all your court costs, attorney fees, is usually about $1,500. We offer payment plans on Chapter 7, so you can start a file with my office for as little as $200. You can send your creditor calls to us. We'll take your creditor calls while you get gather up your information and, and pay, make payments on the rest of the fees. With Chapter 13 cases, uh, we can make payment arrangements in most cases as well and get your case filed even sooner in a Chapter 13 case because of the reorganization aspect to it. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. You spend a third of your life in bed. That's why we make the most comfortable sheets in the very best way. I'm Scott Tannen. Eight years ago, my wife Missy and I founded Bowl & Branch to create the new standard in bedding. We source pure organic cotton and put workers' rights first. Today, Bowl & Branch makes the highest quality sheets in the entire industry. You'll feel the difference of our famous signature sheets. They're made from pure organic cotton and get softer with every single wash. Now's the perfect time to try Bowl & Branch sheets, pillows, bath towels, and so much more. Each is made with super soft organic cotton by workers who are paid fairly and have come to feel like family. It's time to make the better choice and get the new standard in bedding. Visit BowlandBranch.com today for free shipping and returns. Experience the best sheets you've ever felt at BowlandBranch.com and get 15% off your first set of sheets with promo code DREAMS. That's B-O-L-L and branch.com. Promo code DREAMS.